What's up everybody? Today we're taking a look at the Osawa 80-205mm f4.5 on the Sony a6000. Okay, so here it is, the Osawa 80-205mm zoom macro. And I picked this up from my local thrift store again, and I paid 6 bucks for it. And it was actually 12 bucks, but um, I got it during the Memorial Day weekend, and they were having a sale, so uh, half off. I got it for six bucks, so I got lucky. Now buying these old lenses on the used market, you just wanna make sure you check them out really good first. I've had times where I've rushed out of a store and I got home and I noticed the lens was dinged up in places I hadn't noticed. And I actually had one where I brought it home and it had fungus in it. So just check them out really good. This one was really clean cosmetically and the glass was clean, so I feel good about my six bucks spent. Okay guys, so the aperture on this one goes from F4.5 to F32. And why don't you have a listen to the aperture ring? Now guys, this lens has six aperture blades, so it results in that hex-shaped bokeh in a lot of cases. So if that's a look that you're going for, then just know that this lens has it. Now this lens zooms with a pumping motion, so pushed all the way up, you're at 80 millimeters, and push it down to get to your 205. And if you want to go into the macro mode, you push all the way up to 80 millimeters, then turn the focusing ring to the right, and you go into the macro modes. Now, Asawa made lenses for lots of different mounts. The one that I picked up was the uh, Minolta MD mount. So what I'm going to need is the Minolta MD to NEX adapter. And the one that I picked up is this KNF Concept. I get these off of Amazon for 15 bucks. This is the same Minolta one that I've used in my other videos. And they are cheap and they're well made. And I've said it before, but this is the magical piece of metal that brings these old lenses to your new cameras. Now once you have everything attached, the adapter, the lens, it ends up being a pretty heavy package. This lens isn't made of super cheap components and it's, it's not like a modern plastic lens. This is a older lens, lots of glass, lots of real components here. So um, it ends up being pretty heavy and you just want to make sure you have a way of supporting the lens so you can ease the strain on the camera's mount. Now with the APS-C crop factor, um, this lens becomes 120 millimeter to 307 millimeter. So I thought that might be a pretty good range to go shoot some sports. Now manually focusing uh, sports and action, it becomes really difficult. And this lens isn't super fast either, so it needs lots of good light. And I went to a soccer game at night, so maybe not the best choice of sports to shoot. But I wanted to give you an idea of what the reach look like of this lens. You can get right there on the field and it looks pretty dang good. Um, you can at least get close to the action. Now going out in the daytime, probably a better idea with the aperture starting at 4.5, but at least it gets you out on the field. I always like to finish with a little beta fish bokeh. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe. And I always like hearing your comments, so go ahead and comment below. And we'll see you next time.